we went into the meet with good energy and then day two came and we still had the same energy and day three came and we were tired but we still showed up for each other and we had so much fun coming back as well even though it was really late <laughs> but we had so much fun the entire time it was amazing honestly the best experience yes yeah, so um i did make the b cut final for the 100 breasts i i think i went in as number 15 and after the prelims i came out as number nine so that would have been top seat and um i did i did win the b the b final in the finals um in prelims i'd done a lifetime best and um a lot of people don't know this but i actually swim long course meters so that also converted to my lifetime best in long course meters as well so i was very very happy very excited and then also i would mention um, my teammate she also made finals for 100 breasts as well the c final and i was very very proud of her she did amazing um the 200 i went in as number 23 and i am in the prelims and i came out as i believe number 17 or number 18 i touched third in that race it was a little more grueling than the 100 just because i had to do it twice um and it was the last day and everything but um it was still great i'm very happy i did a lifetime best both in prelims and then again in finals so i'm very very pleased so the relay was really exciting because we had a lot of team records to beat and so we were kind of competing with each other we had a a relay and a b relay right and we would either we would be in the same heat together or we would be in two different heats but we would try to push each other to, to both get past the team record. Well, it was definitely humbling, definitely. And um, it was it was a new experience for a lot of us. Um, I, uh, I believe a lot of us haven't been to a meet so big. And I think it was great preparation for the conference championships in February. And so I think it was good for us to get this experience right now um learn the ropes and everything so we're ready for february when it's time for the nd 10s yeah so i agree with that um the the stonehill team we are doing amazing for the numbers we have i have to commend coach botvin he is doing a great job with us and um in terms of the nd 10 top five times and stuff like that i i think in regards to that the team is excited and I mean, just overall excited to see how we do and also to see how our energy will be at the meet as well. I think it's going to be, it's going to be a real surprise for all of us. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be fun. So um, yes, I'm from Nassau, Bahamas. Um, I've been there for all of my life and I actually had never swam short course yards before coming here. It was always long course meters or the occasional short course meters. Um, and so it was a bit of a change coming here and just going straight into the short course meters, obviously, because it's a lot shorter um, and the times are different and stuff like that. So I would have to manually convert them. Um, I've been swimming for about 11 years now. And um, I also swim for the Bahamas national team and I decided to sit down and look at Stonehill and I thought the place was first thing I thought the place was beautiful beautiful place and then um, I saw the team they were all girls it was only six of them at the time and I was like wow we I could be a part of something really big here like really special because you see how many program history marks we're making as a team and it's bringing us closer together. And I really love, appreciate that. Like, it's so hard to find teams with such good camaraderie, like how the Stonehill team does. And I think that was the biggest thing for me when I was into like being interviewed by the team and having Zoom calls and stuff because I couldn't come here because of COVID. Actually, I'd never been to Massachusetts before orientation. <laughs> so it was a big, big leap for me and I do not regret it at all. I love this place.
Well, um, I know in my case, I'm taking a little break from swimming, just at three days, just to focus on finals. And then I'll probably be back in the pool starting again because I can't resist it. <laughs> um, but when I go home, I'm going to train with my club team and um, just relax, take in the sun because there's no snow. <laughs> um, take in the sun. I've, I've missed it and um, I'll be back um, when the next semester starts and I'll be ready.